people, welcome back to Miss Abeni channel. Is it all right? Today, we are looking at something it's very simple. Um, really, the kindergarten, you know, but um, adults sometimes struggle with graphs and so on. So, today, we are looking at bar graph, and basically, it's very simple. Start out simple, but we're going to look at a little more challenging one after this. All right, so now, come to our one. So basically, as you can see, it says kids' favorite fruits. And here we have the fruits, orange, banana, pear, and apple. All right. So over here, it's the number of students. It's not labeled, but it be the number of students or the number of kids. Look all over here, so kids. I call them call it kids because it's supposed to have a label. Each axis must be labeled. So this is kids over here, so we can say fruits. So these are the x-axis, and these are the y-axis, and so these are the x. Okay, let's go. Okay, I don't know what I'm putting here, no peeps. My shapes are already. And these are the y-axis, all right? So on the x-axis, we have fruits, and on the y-axis, we have the number of fruits. Let us put that. Alright. Let's look at the first question. You guys can go ahead and try. First question says, how many kids like liked apples? So first we have to go to apple. This is apple. Go up and go across. So we're gonna read it from All right. So that's four. So it's four kids like apple. All right. Next one says, which fruit did the most kids like? And that would be this fruit right here. I'm going to say this one is orange. Because it has the tallest bar. Six students like orange. All right. Careful with the language now. Which fruit did the kids like the least? Notice the least. That means you can tell me like you said the less. So that would be the smallest bar, and that would be banana. This is a very important topic for students. Just banana. And then it further goes down to say, how many kids like bananas? And that would be two. So just go right across. Go on it. Go right across. So that's two. How many kids like either pear or banana? Very important question. All right, the fact that is either, it means we have to add both pear and bananas, all right? So pears and bananas, so this would be pear. So at three plus two, so five persons like either pear or bananas. How many kids like either oranges or apple? Right? So oranges was six and the apples was four. So it's ten students like either apple or orange or apple. So this is orange and this is apple. Let's carry back up here. All right, so we're gonna look at a more challenging one now, guys. I hope everybody get that. It's very simple. This is for grade two, grade three. All right, so we have another one, and this one says, get into school. So use a bar graph to answer the questions. So this is a, is basically dealing with traveling, I would say walk, 
bicycle, bus, train, or car. As we wrote this day, a group of students at Parkside Elementary School made a bar graph to show how they get to school, right? So you see students work, right? How many students ride their bicycle to school? So what we have to do is to go to bicycle, right? I will go across and that would be 30. So the reading, take the reading from the y-axis. So that first one is 30. Remember guys, go ahead and do it. Can you me? All right. Do more students ride bicycle or get ride in a car? So it's a yes or no. Do more, do more students ride their bicycle or get a ride in a car? And as we can see, the car is about 10, not about, it's 10. So what are um, more students walk? So we can say yes, more students walk. All right, how many more students take the bus to school than take the train? So let us see how many take the bus and how many take the train. They're asking for the difference. So right here is 35, so 35 take the bus. Let's see how many take the train, 20. So how many more students take the bus than the train? So we have to subtract, right? So it would be 35. Minus 20. So that would be 15 more. Take the bus. How many students ride in a car to school? Well, I already did that, and that is 10. And you guys can do that. Just put the number on top of the bar. How many students take the train and walk to school combined? Train and walk. So we're going to add the number that take the train is, oh, let's just put walk. That is 40. And the number that takes, so we're adding these two. So it's 40 plus 20. Remember, combine means to add. So it's 40 plus 20. And that gives us 60. And guys, these are the things that they're going to do in the SPA. You know? Very simple stuff. All right. How do most of the students get? to school. So we have to look at the chart now and see O and the tallest bar that's indicate how many oh the most and that would walk. So most students walk to school. So we're gonna put that the walk. You can put the sentence but for my work for this purpose we're gonna see walk. What happened I should have gotten another worksheet so you guys could try, but unfortunately, I do have one now, but I will upload one. All right, see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.